Welcome to our very different uh, Chris Dingle service. Uh, well, mainly because you won't be here. Um, you'll be somewhere else, and we're here. So it's all a bit strange, um, but we hope you enjoy it. Um, it, it you'll learn what Chris Dingle's about. Um, you'll learn how to make a Chris Dingle, and knowing who's involved, you might have a bit of fun and a bit of a laugh as well. Um, so welcome, we hope you enjoy it, and uh, we invite you back to next year's when we'll be able to be here. Stingles just like these in a moment, but remember this is YouTube, which means you can pause and rewind and watch again if you miss part. I'm going to help some people now that you might recognise. It'll be interesting to see how this goes. In your bag, you have an orange. And the next thing you need to do is get out all the little pieces out of your plastic bag. In your plastic bag you have a candle and a holder some red ribbon and four little cocktail sticks. You get your piece of ribbon and you take your sticky label, just here you very carefully peel off one side. And you can stick that onto your orange. Then you peel off your sticky label on the other side. 
one stick on the side of your ribbon onto one edge. Wrap it all the way around your orange and stick it on that side. So once you have your ribbon all the way around your orange, you work out which way round your orange is going to stand up. Right, next in your bag you have some sweeties, some Haribo sweeties. Open. And you also have a little packet of raisins. One tip. If you want a little cocktail stick, you take your Haribo sweeties and you push them through your cocktail stick. About two on each one. And then you push that in the side of your orange. Just like that. They're very sticky. And a little red hot. And that goes just opposite the other one. Then you get your other cocktail sticks. And you have some fruit. So you push your raisins. You can do three raisins for your cocktail stick. down and you push those into the other corners opposite. Oh, see? Black like cooler. Just like that. And have a bow little candle. And the little holder. So you put your candle in its holder and you carefully push the holder through the top of your orange. Just like that. And there it's your finished missing. The orange part of your Christingle represents the world. So, the red ribbon that goes around the centre of your orange represents the blood of Jesus. Going through what Jesus did for us and how Jesus died for us and that's what that represents to help us remember that. The fruits of the sweets on the four skewers represent God's gift to us. So there's the fruits um, on the earth and the four seasons as well. And it also there's other um, representations as well that it is the four corners of the earth um, and I particularly like the Haribos because actually there's lots of things in there that God has given us um, they, you can see the drinks you can see eggs you can also see a heart as well um, and the love that not only God has for us but the love that our families have for us and others have for us um, and the Bible says as long as the earth endures seed time and harvest cold and heat summer and winter day and night will never ever cease and i think that's really particularly at this um, time of year i think it's really good to think about the candle at the top is my favorite bit of this one because you can light it it's brilliant isn't it be careful though we don't want you setting your house on fire or anything stupid like that um, but the, the candle at the top reminds us about jesus the light of the world that's why he came at Christmas time, to bring his light into our lives, to show up the things that are wrong, but to help us to know his love and his peace. He brings light, it shows us what to do. And I hope that you have a really bright, happy Christmas, in spite of all the things that you might not be able to do. And I hope that uh, you know that God loves you this Christmas time.